this set of videos is going to introduce you to Paint 3D from Microsoft. This first video, I want to show you a few things in the menu and then just go over some of the brushes. So when you first open up Paint 3D, which you can get in the Microsoft Store, you're going to see this welcome screen. With this welcome screen, you can start a new project. You can open up an existing project or file, and you can paste a 2D or 3D file. Uh, it'll show you some tutorial stuff here, and this will change occasionally. And then it'll show you some of the latest 3D collection, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later. If you don't want this to show up again, you can just click this. And for now, let's just press New. Now up here, there's a little file folder, and it'll take you into the menu. Now, when you save your 3D projects, you can save them as a 3D project so that you can come back later, or you can save them as 3D or 2D. Now, you don't see 3D here because I don't have one of them on my screen. And you can also insert files from uh, a screen that you have. You can do save, you can export files, uh, you can even print to a 3D printer if you like. And under settings, let's go there for just a minute. You can reduce the size of your sidebar to make more space, but you're not going to be able to see too much, so I would suggest you just keep that off. Normally, if you're going to be in 3D, you want to see the 3D workspace. If you're not going to be in 3D, you'll probably want to take that off. Again, here's the welcome screen. Now down below here, depending on how fast or how much power your computer or your laptop is, you can either put it at normal, you can put it at high, or you can put it at ultra. Um, I've got a fairly fast laptop, so I'm just going to put mine at ultra. The projects you do can take quite a bit of uh, power, so you can adjust that occasionally. So I'm just going to go back. Now up here is your menu, and you've got some different things here. And off to the right you'll see these little three dots, and you can turn on the names. I usually have these on. And we are going to talk about brushes first. Your brushes will be somewhat similar to your uh, the old paint program. You've got markers, a calligraphy pen, an oil brush, a watercolor brush, a pixel pen, a pencil, an eraser, a crayon, a spray can, and a paint bucket. Now for each tool you can change the thickness and you can change the opacity and you can also give it a finish. Matte, gloss, dull metal, polished metal. And down here you can choose a color. So if I draw a circle here, you can see what that looks like. I want to talk to you about this paint can. If you press the paint can, and again you can put the tolerance, and that's how tolerant of you are of the color that you choose. And I choose a color and I click inside of it, it's going to color the inside of here. Now, if I click outside of it, it's going to click the outside. So just take a little bit of time and go through those paint tools. We'll be using those paint tools uh, to paint our canvas, and we'll also be using them to paint our 3D objects.